Welcome back YouTube to another Cool Loser Tech video and these are the top 10 best apps this week on Top 10 Wednesday number 341. Well what do you know, it's the Cool Loser for show. To deliver so get ready for some apps and game. Number one spot, this is the place to go. Android tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the weeks, so you know how it goes. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's stop the show. And for the best light wallpaper of the week, it is not called Material Circle because I already reviewed this last time, but it's called Artist Wall. Now this application changes your wallpaper to the music you're listening to with Spotify. You will see that the song, you can see my wallpaper has changed. Watch the background change. Check it out. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you pause, it'll change back to a photo that you want. That's my motorcycle that I got behind there. If I press play, it'll change right back. Here next we have Foo View. It's kind of hard to see, but if you tap on it, you get a little window popping up. You can go to your applications. So you see my YouTube's open and say I'm watching a video and I want to click on that and open right on top of it so it's not going to leave what you're doing. Tap on it again and it'll go away. If you pull halfway, it'll go back one. And if you pull all the way long, it'll go home. Long hold on it and you can drop into certain shortcuts. Then you can adjust the sizes. But if you want to move it, go into this little position. Now it's open floating. And we can put it up higher there. But in the app drawer, we also have other web browser inside of this application. If you tap it once, you're going to get into your lucky, there's game suggestions, news, go to your weather. You can also go through all your files, your pictures, your music, your videos. All in here. Here next we have Linked Pro. If you're a user of Twitter and Instagram, this is a way to track of how many people are following you, who follows you, what's your progress, it's like your stats. The longer you have it, the more stats you're going to be able to see. And that's just through Twitter. You can click on them and they will also say if they are following you, you can unfollow through here. And like I said, that's just through Twitter. You can go through, you can sign in with all your Instagram or Twitter accounts. Go to Instagram. And here for an example, I lost one. We're going to check who that was. The user is private, so I can't look at their stuff. You can see all your stats. Of course, like I said, the longer you use it, the more you're gonna information you're going to have. It's a useful tool. You're going to love it, so go try it out for yourself. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at the cool Loser. Here next, we have Listonic. This application is perfect for families, roommates, girlfriend and boyfriends. But what you do is you make a list of items you want to get at a store. Let's say I wanted to go to Walmart, and let's say I'm going to go to a party, and we all want to do a potluck. I'll bring the ice cream snicker bars, and it'll show me that I have checked that item that I bought it. And some of these have little notes there. If you long hold on it, you can go into here, leave yourself how many you need, the price tag. So you can change the icon look as that's candy. There's beverage, bakery, there's electronic. And it's also really easy to create. Just select on that. You want to do eggs, already has a you know popular category there. Or just type it in and you will see that there's toiletries. You can make different lists for different people, different groups. I found it very easy to use. You're going to love it, so go try that for yourself. Here next we have Say What? Okay, this application is supposed to teach you things and you can create your own versions of what things mean. Basically, people are creating videos based off words in case you didn't know what they meant. So if you've been living on the rock or you don't understand the American lingo or if I don't understand your region lingo, if it's not even from America, I can find out what it means. There's zero people who made Goofy. What is, what is the definition of Goofy? If you have a video you want to make and explain what Goofy is, then you can make a video and everyone will be able to see that video. There's my account. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. It is fun though, but you can start defining terms. Okay, I'm making a video explaining what hit it means. means and hit it is when you want to. Here next we have Swiftly Switcher. This has a similar concept but a little different approach. You can't see it here. It's actually invisible and I bring it out and I got the little drop-ins here. These are recent applications. Drop down on it and it'll jump right back to it. And if you go all the way out, there is a home. There's also a return back to where you last were at. <laughs> and there's to bring down your notifications and it'll drop down just like that. So in case you're holding one hand, you just want to navigate and get to different places. These are the settings. You can change what you want to see if it's too big. You can set if you want it to be in the right and the left and the top and the bottom or both sides. 
change the icon pack, the colors, the animations. But if you hold on to any of these, it'll just open up your favorite applications. You can see you can have a lot of favorite applications. You can drop it down in a certain application that you want. Here next we have Beamy. So in this application, instead of adding filters, and it explains it all, but it's getting really popular and a lot of people are using it now. There's Zito Max's hey, stuff. Hey Raccoon, how are you? the hell is this? <laughs> you can't see what you're doing. That's the whole weirdness about this application. So we're going to press on this plus. We're going to create one. We're going to do a selfie. Uh, I can't tell if I'm double chinning or not because it doesn't let me see what I'm doing. Uh, I can't tell if I'm double chinning or not because it doesn't let me see what I'm doing. I can't perfect myself so you can like me. To add a profile pic, you can't even upload a photo. You need to take it right there and now. Without and you can record your reaction what to what I was doing no, here. If you want to follow me up, I'll probably keep this for a while and it's at the cool loser. Here next we have Bang Good. This application is well known for cheap prices on products that you can buy. It does take a little bit to get to you. It can be um, here where I live. It takes sometimes a two to three weeks to get to me because it's overseas. And I've used other applications that do the similar stuff, but these are a little bit more high quality. I've had an account for a while here. So they give you points for using, checking stuff out and they give you coupons to save money. You can go to categories. And of course you want to go into hobbies and outdoor digital. You'll see Apple accessories, go down tablet, electronics, cell phone accessories these are one of the websites that i bought those phones for like 150 bucks or below if you click on one of them right here you can check out the information and then you'll be able to see other videos of other youtubers who have played with it but it's here for you if you like doing your online shopping like me next up we have phoenix for Twitter. Now I'm pretty much full time on Twitter. So if you want to get a hold of me or just see what I'm doing, this is another way to get more direct with me. And I like the layout. You can see that it's all black and you can change it up to make it look different. Videos and it'll play within this application. So you don't have to get, you know, escorted out to the YouTube app. Click on that and it'll bring me all the way to recent right now. So this is what's going to happen. The Blazers are going to play today, game five. Click on the plus. You can do GIFs there, import from gallery, take a photo, click on that. You can change your profiles real quick. Go on to the left side and you can see there's your timeline, your mentions, your activity. I got three messages that haven't checked yet. Make sure you follow me at the cool loser on Twitter. I'm full time there. And I got my pictures and videos and stuff right here of links that you can check real quickly. It's a good, nice application. And last but not least, we have device manager. And this is a must have for every Android user. If you ever lose or get your phone stolen, you can track it. Be, let's say we're going to track this phone here. My phone's right there and I can make it ring. Your device will ring full volume for five minutes. So if I lost my phone, I can get onto a computer. I can easily track it by making it ring and I see I can't find it. I can lock the phone or erase everything because I know I definitely not going to get it back. So it deletes everything off your phone, hoping that someone turns it on your cellular or Wi-Fi connects anywhere. It'll delete everything off your phone. You can sign in as a guest. Maybe your friend lost and you didn't want to use your phone. You can track it back with the Android device manager. Thank you for watching. These are the top 10 best apps this week. Number 341. And right before I go, I would like to remind you guys that on Clash Royale, I have a clan here which is called Gamesters. This is my second channel of YouTube that I'm making that is all about gaming for PC, Android, and Xbox. Join my clan so you can play against me and beat me because I'm not that great, but I love to play. Come to my clan, Gamesters, and we'll play each other. And in case if you're wondering what phone I'm on, I'm on my Nexus 6P. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.